That is an example of a song that really came out of the guitar part. I mean, we had a great idea for an approach, but that was the, that was the thing that got it onto the next level. And sounds, you know, they do that for us all the time. Do you, do you pick up sounds, these sounds that you get, do you sometimes, are they sounds that come in your head first, or do you find them and then, they, then you elaborate on them in your head? Um, it depends. Most of the time it's, um, it's experimentation where you're just working with something and you figure out what it, what it can do, what it's good at. Most, um, most effects units will, will be able to do something very well, you know, even if they're designed to do hundreds of things. Often I find it's like one really great thing in them. So it's unearthing that is, is, is part of the challenge. Sometimes then you, you, you kind of know a sound that you've heard before that you think could be used in a new context and you sort of go after it. But for me the real fun is like discovering something new for the first time. These, you, you might, there are what about sort of a dozen or so guitars here, but you might have as many, no more over there, there are two other guitars. You might have as many as 15 to 20 guitars in any set that you do in any performance. I think we, uh, the top is probably 18 in a show, would that be? 21. 21, uh, 21 different guitars in, in one show. And really, again, it's down to just they all sound different. Um, like, where's the, where's the infinite guitar? This is one that, uh, is that this one? Yes, it is. The first infinite guitar was actually made by a friend of mine. Um, and it's, it's a guitar which, uh, how do I describe it? It's more like a violin in that you can continually make a sound without having to keep plucking the strings, because the sustain would continue. But subsequent to that original one, This is that production guitar. It's totally a different sound. That's why we have 18 guitars in the world. They all sound different. And they're all from different periods. Yeah. They're not all, you know, they're not current. No, no, they're all, I mean, there's, um, you know, from the earliest Les Paul, which never comes on the road because it's, in fact, you're not allowed to look at that one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, you know, this, this is like 70s. This would be from the 60s, 60s. 60s, a lot of 60s, 60s, that's current. This is 70s, 60s, 50s, 50s late 50s. That's actually, I think it is late 50s, 58. This is uh, 60s, the 50s, 50s, 59. 59, and then this is brand new technology. Is it? Yeah. Can we see that? This is, um, what's good about this one is that you can uh, change the tuning by just playing the fly on this guitar and the guy who designed it was watching me play he was like oh my god <laughs> <laughs> we didn't design it for that kind of abuse and uh, but it works really great where are we <laughs> is that the long delay or? on the wrong tuning. Which one is... What? 
Which one is it? Dread. You see Dread. The Dread. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Something's not right there, Dallas. No, that's... No, that's actually, that's Love and Peace. Thank <laughs> you.